What's up everybody? Welcome to Audio Architects. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to replace the grill cloth on an old, uh, you know, 70s, 80s style grill. I'm doing it for my advents. This is kind of like an ongoing project. This is like the second part to, for the project. So uh, the last part's going to be finishing off the enclosures. I am going to, in fact, be refinishing the enclosures. So uh, if this is your first time here watching my videos, thanks for stopping by. Consider this your new home for hi-fi because I cover all things hi-fi not only DIY vintage stuff obviously brand new reviews if you look uh, at my catalog of videos you can check out some of the best and new speakers and amplifiers on the market so I'm excited to have you here uh, without further ado I'm gonna get into this project so I can show you guys exactly how I replace these grills stay tuned First things first, you want to remove that nasty old uh, linen cloth or, or whatever kind of material they used um, from the actual grill itself. So what I used here were some needle nose pliers and I just started pulling out each and every uh, staple that was on this grill. Uh, as you could see from the beginning of the clip, the uh, grill cloth was real dirty and old and just it smelled like mildew. It was gross. So <laughs> this needed to be done. This uh, project needed to, to, to go underway. So as you can see, it's super easy. Just pull out all the uh, old staples. Uh, make sure not to pinch yourself. I think I pinched myself once with this, with these pliers <laughs> in this process. And yeah, then you just pull it right off and you're, uh, you're good to go. As long as the actual uh, wooden part of the grill is in good shape, as long as it's not corroded or, or you know, just not, not well or cracked or anything, you should be good. In this next clip, I'm going to be opening up the brand new linen cloth that I chose. I chose a cloth that was very, very uh, durable. Uh, it was harder and it matched the original cloth uh, pretty well. It had this martial look to it. It's like a tan and black uh, woven cloth, uh, which I thought was really, really rad. So I, it was a little bit more expensive than, you know, like a, let's say a normal, just a, a acoustic transparent cloth. However, I felt aesthetically this would match the grill and the speaker itself a lot better. Since I am going to be painting the enclosure in a darker color, I thought this would stand out very well. So that's why I chose to go this route. The process is pretty easy. All you gotta do is cut, you know, along the lines, you know, cut uh, along the, uh, the grill, making sure that there is a little bit of uh, slack left on each end of the grill. So that way you can uh, staple it correctly. Cause if you don't have enough, it's gonna be kind of hard to staple it on there. A little too much, you'll start covering up those little Velcro tabs, which you don't wanna do. And I actually cut around the Velcro tabs just so I can have a little extra slack because I wanted to make sure that it was on uh, very tight and it wasn't going to be coming off or the staples weren't gonna be popping off or anything like that. So um, be very careful with stapling because some staplers are really high powered. And in this case, um, <laughs> look what I just did. Look at that. I just literally stapled my tablecloth to my table and I didn't realize it. Look at that, I, I think it's broken. I literally think this thing's broken. I do it again. I did it again. I did it again. And then look, I thought it was staples were out. No, then I realized I'm an idiot and I stapled my cloth, my tablecloth to my table. So be careful because stupidity runs wild in this house. So continue to stapling your project. Um, it does take a little bit of time and it is kind of, you know, tedious because you're just stapling and cutting and I'm not, like, like I said, look, that's where I, you know, that's where I obviously cut a little hole for the, for the Velcro here, here, this part's kind of weird because you got to either fold or cut. And I cut because these staples aren't very long. So I wanted them to still kind of, you know, penetrate the wood and not pop off. So I just cut a little, a little portion there. So that way I can, you know, safely continue stapling and it won't come off and it'll look good. It'll look uniform and it won't look bad. So that's <clears throat> really the method of my madness. It's not really that hard. Um, as you can see there, I, I kind of gave it a little too much slack, so I needed to 
cut it down, shave it down a little bit, um, and then continue stapling. Uh, the funny thing is, I actually stapled the tablecloth one more time. I can't. I, I don't know if I still have that clip, but I, I did it one more time because, like I said, stupidity runs wild over here. Um, yeah, I just continue stapling. As I said, I sat down because I got tired of standing and it was hurting my back because I'm getting old and decrepit. So I just didn't want to continue standing. I'm probably sitting there talking to myself. Um, because I had no microphone on. <laughs> so yeah, continue stapling, and once you're uh, once you're finished up, uh, it's gonna get a lot better because you're gonna see some amazing results. Um, the back is not so much as important as the front. Obviously, you want the front to be nice and tight on there. So make sure when you are, you know, putting this together, you're pulling on the actual cloth so that way it's not floppy or uh, you know it doesn't have any kind of give on the uh, on the outer side um, and then after you finish up these last few staples you are going to be rocking and rolling you'll be good to go all you have to do after this is going to be um, if there is an emblem you're putting on there this is the time to do it um, otherwise you're good to go you're done I think it looked great. I think that it's uh, transparent enough to be able to see what's behind the scenes, but at the same time, give it a nice vintage look to it. So here I am putting together the uh, emblem that came on the original grow cloths, which were very easy to take off because the adhesion on those were very old. So I just went ahead and put some fresh glue on it. I actually used the glue from Simply Speakers that they uh, that they gave me for the speaker surrounds, which is a really good glue. So I put some of that on there, made sure it was nice and, and even across the board, and just stuck it on there, and that was it. All right, guys, here we have the finished product. Uh, this is the finished product of the Advent Grill. <laughs> replacement uh, the back is a little messy uh, I, I didn't really I don't know I, I I'm not really good with stuff like this but I, I I made it work and it looks really cool in the front and uh, it's gonna work really well guys I, I you know I'm still fairly new to the DIY thing so I appreciate your guys's uh, input and your guys's uh, you know feedback that, that's that's so important for me because, uh, you know, starting out, I, I want to get some of those folks that are, you know, seasoned in DIY to, to give me a few pointers here and there. I'd love that stuff. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and check out my Facebook group. It's called Hi-Fi Audio Enthusiasts, and we could chat there, or you could uh, definitely become a patron of my Patreon and support the channel so that way I can, you know, afford to get more uh, vintage audio stuff to play with and to show you and 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 you know invest in new projects that I could do DIY stuff so uh, everything's appreciated and I appreciate your guys's time for watching this video and I hope to see you guys soon with the next video take care